Hi guys, so today I'll be doing a book talk on the book Flora and Ulysses by Kate D. Camillo. So the main character, Flora, is a cynic, meaning a person who is motivated to do something only by self-interest. Flora is the biggest comic book fan, and her favorite book is The Illuminated Adventures of the Amazing Incandesto. The inseparable friendship started out when Flora was observing her neighbors outside with their brand new vacuum cleaner in their yard except who vacuums their yard. As soon as the machine was on, Mrs. Tickham cannot contain the machine as it glides through the field dragging her along. After a wild chase, the Ulysses 2000 X stopped at a sudden halt. Inspired by the hero Incandesto, Flora rushed down to help Mrs. Tickham who was about to pass out. A tail stuck out from under the vacuum cleaner. As Flora shook it, a tiny body fell out. Of what that was left, the body appears to be of a squirrel. She knelt down to examine him and sighs in relief as he was breathing. Naming him after the vacuum cleaner, Ulysses was abnormal, though much like Incandesto. Ulysses could lift a vacuum cleaner many times his size, and even type pieces somewhat close to poetry. Flora was inspired by him, as he was a resemblance to a real-life superhero then sprouts a friendship that was inalienable. The theme of this book is friendship because Flora was told off many times to get rid of this girl, though she kept him safe and took care of him. Flora disobeyed her mom multiple times and even after Ulysses had caused trouble for everyone, she stood by him and supported of what might be just a silly girl. The quote I found most interesting was, don't we all live in our heads? Where else could we possibly exist? Our brains are the universe. Reading this makes me wonder about how our brains pursue what is reality and how it interprets what we know into our daily lives. How one person's reality can be completely disparate from another, for, for we experience different things. So doesn't it mean that the reality we believe is only our imagination? The genre of this book would be realistic fiction and also fantasy. I would highly recommend Flora and Ulysses to readers who are interested in fun realistic fiction and there are really cool illustrations also. So if you're looking for a good realistic fiction book, make sure to check out Flora and Ulysses.